So traditionally, financial institutions have been slow to adopt the cloud. You know, they've been concerned in terms of data privacy. Where is my data going to actually end up? How can I make sure my data is secure? The confidence and security has really changed on the cloud. So financial institutions are very comfortable now in terms of encrypting data, passing data back and forth, and the security measures are in place on cloud providers. One of the big benefits is operational savings. Financial institutions know it takes a long time to provision infrastructure to get hardware operating systems in place. When you've got a private cloud or a public cloud, a lot of those constraints go away. The second thing really is about scalability. If you've got a large, let's say, data remediation or a large intake of actual work to do, you can scale up and scale down infrastructure much faster. The other one is the client experience. By your services, you want to make sure that they're facing off to the client, that they're reactive and they're in such a way that the client is actually positive with that experience. The cloud offers a very easy way to deploy public channels and the ability to make sure that the customer experience is to the required standard. So many key considerations. First, I mean, people have the idea that it's easier to run in the cloud, and that's true to a point. You still need to have a skill set in-house. You've got to make sure you have people familiar with that public cloud provider or the private cloud technology you're using. There is a less of a capital cost, but there is operational costs that are associated with adopting the public cloud. So understand those costs. Really understand which cloud provider option are you going to use. Is it infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, and is there a lock-in? as well considered with that. So if you want to move from one provider to the next provider later on, are you locked into your original cloud provider? Another key consideration is data privacy. Cloud providers, especially public, have had greater expansion in terms of where they place their data centers. However, you got to make sure that where your data is going to end up in terms of a data center location is what you need it to be. The term cloud means many different things to different people. When you break it down, you can run a private cloud. So that's running internally within the enterprise, using virtualization technology, and really taking advantage of the infrastructure investments you've already made. It gives you a lot of the benefits, scalability, but you do have to host it yourself internally. You could do a public cloud offering, so Amazon of the worlds, Azure of the worlds, IBM, etc., where they host it for you and you take advantage of them. So there's many advantages with that. You have less control compared to a private cloud. There's other parts, industries that are looking in terms of corporations coming together, a community cloud. So that's saying we'll set up something like a private cloud. We'll actually set it up together. We have similar needs. So we'll make sure it's tailored to our unique needs and we'll all leverage it together as a community. And then the last one, which is actually a common offering, is a hybrid cloud. Some of your infrastructure is in-house on a private cloud, some of it is public. And sometimes you might stretch to using more of the public and peak demands. So it gives you that extra level of scalability. Clients interact with banks in many different ways. The first thing is the relationship managers, which might be working directly with clients. They typically actually take advantage of cloud offerings anyway, the CRM tools of the world. So it's really about thinking, how can I expand those tools um, to really give a better client experience? The second one is if you're working directly with a client in terms from a system perspective, and you need a channel to the client. You've got to make sure that channel is responsive, is flexible, and is done in a really consistent way from a usability perspective. So public cloud, and by its very nature, it's public facing. So it's, that goes over an infrastructure headache in terms of how you're going to deploy that application. Um, it's scalable. So if there's peak loads from users, if a bunch of users are end clients to give you a set of data, well then you have that scalability. And you might also take advantage of applications they already use and extend it in terms of collecting additional data that they want. So it's given that consistent uh, look and feel.